Hello and welcome to this video. We're going to learn how to calculate the volume of a right angled triangular prism. So um, we have a simple sketch of uh, a prism here and uh, let's have the length from this point to that point. So let's label it as L and then let's have these measurements of this length as A and this one as B and this one as C. So as we said during the video about calculating the volume of uh, a cylinder, we mentioned that we calculate the volume by multiplying the cross section area by the length and that is what we're going to do even for this case. So we're going to multiply the cross section area by the length. So the cross section of this prism is triangular. Remember we said the cross section area is also known as the base area. So the base is triangular. So assume you slice uh, this prism into smaller parts, the shape that is going to be common throughout is triangular. or So that is the cross section of this prism. So to get the volume, we're going to multiply uh, the area of this triangle, which is the cross section, so it's a half times base times height, and then we multiply by the length of the prism which is L. So that is the formula for calculating the volume of uh, this prism. So we can look at one or two examples so that we can get to understand in a better way. Okay, so if we have uh, A as 5 centimeters and B as 12 centimeters, and then the length is 20 centimeters. So we can try to work out the volume of that prism given those measurements. So um, when we apply this formula, it's going to be a half times base times height. So that is the area of the triangle, which is the cross section. So it's a half times base, which is five centimeters times height which is 12 centimeters and then times the length of the prism which is 20 centimeters so when we work out this it's going to be 600 cubic centimeters so do not forget to indicate the units which are cubic centimeters so let's look at another example. So let's say we have this time round the value of the length A as 8 centimeters and then the length C, so you can see where the length C is. So let's have it as 10 centimeters and then the length is 15 centimeters. So we need to go back to our formula. So it's the area of the triangle times the length of the prism. So to find uh, the area of the triangle, we need this length and this other length. So, but the, the, the measurements that we have are only for this one and this one. So what do we do to get the value of the length B. So we're going to use the Pythagoras theorem to evaluate or to get the value of the length B. So the Pythagoras theorem uh, states that C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Okay, so we can substitute in these values to get the value of the length b. So it's going to be 10 squared is equal to 
uh, 8 squared plus b squared so b squared is going to be 10 squared minus 8 squared okay so it's going to be uh, b squared is equal to 100 minus 64 so b squared is equal to 36 and that translates to b being 6 that is when you find the square root of both sides so the the, the length uh, b is 6 centimeters so we can now find the area of that triangle so it's going to be a half times 6 centimeters times 8 centimeters and then now to get the entire volume we multiply by the length which is 15 centimeters so when we work out this it's going to be 360 cubic centimeters again do not forget to indicate the units uh, that is cubic centimeters so we can look at one final example and probably this one you can work it out by yourself and then you can let me know the answer by commenting uh, or by dropping your comments so that I will tell you whether it's uh, correct or not so let's have this time round the units or, or rather the measurements uh, be or let me use a different color uh, let's have B as uh, 24 centimeters and um, C as 26 centimeters and then the length of the prism as 30 centimeters so you can work out that as a practice question and then you can uh, drop your answer in the comment section so that I will tell you whether it's you have done it correctly or not so thank you for watching this video if you find it relevant you can consider subscribing to the channel and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you can get updated whenever I upload a new video so let's let's meet uh, in the next video